Hello, thank you for joining me. My name is Avery Bradford. I am the owner of the Hive content marketing company and creator of Pro Freelance, where I teach people how to live a life of freedom through freelance. And today I wanted to teach everybody how to use an amazing tool I use called Bonsai. Last week I was asked a question, how do you organize your projects and your expenses? And if I would have been asked this question two months ago, I would have had a completely different answer. And in those two months, my life has completely changed since using what I consider the ultimate freelancer tool, which is Bonsai. Now I'm going to show you how to set up Bonsai as well as some of the key features. But to take you back, I was using only Upwork. When I was getting clients, I was keeping them on Upwork, having them pay me through Upwork, having the contract done through Upwork and the proposals and the tasks and everything. But Upwork takes out a huge cut from your paycheck. So it takes out about 20%, which is huge. Um, and I was just sick of that much money being taken out every month, especially as my hourly wage went up and as my projects got bigger. So I needed to come up with an alternative to get paid, send contracts and have everything be legally binding while getting exactly what I deserve and getting my full, my full hourly pay. So I came across Bonsai after doing some research and it is amazing. My life has completely changed. The way I operate uh, my business has completely changed and so I'm gonna walk you through how to set up Bonsai as well as some of the key features. So let me share with you my screen. Okay, so if you go to app.hellobonsai.com, you can set up a free 14 day trial. So when you set up, it starts the customizing process right away. So it will ask you, what kind of freelancer are you? I will say marketing. Um, there is other options, but you can do design, writing, biography. You can see the whole list here. So let's just say marketing for my case. And then what type of freelancer are you? I'm a full-time freelancer, so I will say full-time, but you may be part-time or just trying to check it out. In my case, I will say full-time. And how many freelancers do you typically, typically work with? So I am a solo freelancer. I own the Hive. I am the only um, operator and employee. So I will just say zero because it's just me, no additional. And then which features are you interested in? One of the key reasons I chose this was contracts because I wanted to make sure that if I took my clients off of Upwork that they were still legally bound to pay me. So contracts were my main reason. Um, so I'm going to click contracts. You can select all and really all of these reasons are amazing. So I'll just go ahead and select all. And do you have a project to use um, Bonsai within the next week? Let's just say yes. All right. So this will take us then to the dashboard. Now this is amazing. I'm going to show you some of the key features of Bonsai and you can pretty much see them here on the home page proposals, contracts, timers, and invoices. Um, I'm not gonna go with proposals. I'm not gonna go over proposals today because I don't use that feature, um, but I'm going to speak on contracts, time tracking, invoices, and expenses and accounting. So contracts are huge. I was so stressed out about trying to figure out how to create a contract that was legally binding that I didn't have to spend hours creating. And Bonsai has templates for you that are amazing. So if I go to the contract section, I can press create a contract and it will already have one created for me using a template. Now all I have to do is put in the client's name, name of the project, we'll just use, um, we'll just use what they've got here and let's change this to writing. Let's say I'm gonna write a blog post for somebody. So let's go ahead and look at what this looks like on our end. So it's such an easy user-friendly um, experience. So I am a freelancer and I'm in the United States and you can say what state you're in, say California, and I work through a company. So if you're working through a company, um, let's say you work for, let's call it freelancers, dot com and you just want to create a contract branch off of that you can work through a company or i could work through the hive my company or you can just work as yourself an individual and if you're just working as yourself 
the individual, then you don't check that box. So you can say your client is a company or a person. Um, many of the people, if you're working for smaller corporations, it'll probably be person. So we can just say person and we'll call the name sample client. So we'll press continue. And then here's where you want to put what you'll do. Um, this is the project description. I'm just going to put in some simple things here. Okay. Now, if you're going to be play, being paid a flat fee, milestones, hourly, a daily, weekly, monthly, whatever you are, let's just say hourly, and let's say you're at $100 an hour. Um, now, here is a great, a great tool, and that's where you can request a deposit. This is great for people if they're a new client, um, maybe someone who has a large scope or a large budget, something that's going to go over... Um, a long period of time, you definitely want to get a deposit so you're getting paid up front rather than waiting until the end of the project. So um, let's just put $500 here. And you can invoice them every week, two weeks, month, or at the end of project. I like to do weekly. I just like to get paid weekly. That's what I prefer. And I here it says 15 days. The client has 15 days to pay. I always just give seven. If it takes longer than a week, then... Um, then they can talk to me about that since I like to be paid weekly. And if they go over their fee, you can change how much, if they go over their time, you can change how much they're paid. So I'll put 5%. If they miss their seven, seven day window, they're charged an extra 5%. And then the contract starts today, or you can change the date. And then you can change when, the, when it starts. So I'll say when the person signs it. So we have got the, um, invoice section. This is a great piece. It, it creates your invoices automatically, which I'll go over later, but you can have it create or don't create your invoices. I just do because why not use that feature? I don't have them send it automatically just so I can review, make sure hours and everything is correct. Um, and I send it on my own or you can auto send and I'll go ahead and create the contract. And this is amazing. It has, look at this, the entire contract done for you everything you need in a contract so that you are getting what you deserve, getting paid everything that you deserve is here. So you can go through this on your own, but I just wanted to show you how simple it is to, to create a contract and not have to stress out about it. And then you can send your contract or what have you. You can duplicate, save it as a draft, send it as a PDF. I just send it straight from here. It sends to the person's email address and then they can sign it from their email address and you get a notification saying they signed the contract and then boom, you are ready to go. You're ready to rock and roll. So that is key feature number one, which is contracts. I'm gonna take you back here to the dashboard to my second favorite feature and that is time tracking. So for time tracking, I, I get paid hourly usually. Sometimes I do a flat rate if it's just a one-off project like a lead magnet or a email sequence, something like that. Um, but if you have clients who are getting paid hourly for, this is a great feature. So once you add a client, let's go in here and add a client and we'll just use sample client. Um, if you want to add a new client, you can do that here. And then if you want to start your timer, you can do it from two different locations. You can just start it right away here from the dashboard and you can select what project you're working for. If you've got multiple clients, there will be an option to add that in and to change which client you're operating from, or you can time track from here. Now, the time tracking is a great feature because when you go to create your invoice, it will automatically update your invoice based on how many hours you work for that client if you're getting paid hourly. If you're getting paid a flat rate, then the invoice will send the flat rate. But once you want to create a new invoice, you can either create one or use the one that's automatically created for you. Let's use sample client and let's do a one-off, one-time invoice. So once you go ahead and create this, again, just like the contract, it is all laid out for you. So you can change your, your address, the company name, who's going to receive it. If you want multiple people to receive it or see it, you can add recipients. Um, you can change your um, so let's just say email and I'm getting paid in, um, let's say I worked 10 hours and I'm getting paid a hundred dollars an hour. 
So that'll change this automatically to what you are supposed to be paid. And if there were any expenses, you can add that here. Let's say they had you um, download a or subscribe to something and you want to get reimbursed for that, you can add that expense here and you can add a payment method. I get paid via PayPal. You can add a credit card um, or a bank account, what have you, and any attachments. If you want to send the email sequence or the lead magnet, whatever you created, you can send that in here. That way you have proof that you completed the project. And then you can send, again, send straight to their email, they pay it, go straight into your bank account and you're done. So contracts are created, invoice are created, time tracking is done for you and with you. And another feature that I love is um, expenses and accounting. So if you go to expenses, you can add bank accounts. You can connect a bank account. You can connect um, however many you want to, and it shows where you're spending your money. It shows if, where you're spending on business, um, going out to eat, clothes, what have you. It shows you exactly where you're spending your money. That way, when it comes tax season, it already has the expenses that you used for business set aside for you, and you've already got that ready to plug into your tax and to your tax um, form, however you uh, go about that. And it also shows you when you put everything in, it'll show you a graph, how much you're making and how much you're spending and where those two meet so you can track and see exactly where they align and make sure that you're living below your means if that's how you choose to live. And accounting will do the same. Accounting's a deeper dive into expenses is how I'd explain it. It shows you the graph of day by day or month by month, however you want to put that down. And then here you can see exactly where your expenses were and you can download the expenses sheet and use that for, for tax purposes. So this is great for people who are stressed out about um, doing their taxes as a freelancer. Um, I was going to end there, but I want to show one more thing that I, that I really love because you can really use Bonsai as the ultimate freelancer tool because it has everything in one. So in this task section, you can add your tasks for the week, the day, whatever you want. So let's say I got a new client and I know I've got a few tasks. I've got to create the email. I've got to create lead magnet. And let's say I got to create landing page. Okay, so you can add your tasks for the week and use this as your project management tool. And then if you're someone like me who does things repeatedly, let's say you create sales funnels often or email sequences often, and you've got a process down for that, you can create task templates so that you don't have to put your to-do list every time you've got this project. So let's say sales funnel. Okay, and once we go into that, you can add all the projects, all the tasks that it takes to create a sales funnel. So again, we can put that in here and it will create a um, template for us that we can use again and again and again. I'm gonna keep this simple and just put two things. Okay, and that way when you go to tasks, you can add from template and that template that you just created. So, once you sign up for Bonsai, you probably won't need to use pretty much any other freelance tool. This really is the ultimate freelance tool. The contracts, invoices, time tracking, the expenses and accounting, as well as the project management tool of using those tasks. It really does keep everything in line for you and takes out a lot of those stressors that you can have transitioning from full-time to freelance. So I highly recommend, especially for those people who are on Upwork, um, getting 20% taken out of their paycheck and want an alternative. You can find your clients on Upwork, that's great. Go on there and find clients and get to know them, build some rapport and then say, hey, I have this other tool that I use that's gonna save you money and save me money. So let's say you charge $100 an hour um, on Upwork, I'll say, if you switch over to Bonze, I'll charge you 98 an hour. So they're saving $2 an hour and you're really getting paid much more in the end. Um, so I hope that this was useful to you and I hope that you love Bonsai as much as I do. I, I can't say it enough. This is an amazing tool. And if you have any questions, let me know. Thank you so much.